In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the blower motor on this Volkswagen Beetle. This is going to be behind the glove box. Let's get into it. Underneath here, use a pick and there's a little cover. You can see where there's a screw there. I'm going to take that screw out. Use a T20 socket. that out. Underneath this panel, take these two screws out. Use the T20 socket. This trim piece you want to take off, just use a trim tool. Pop this forward. The switch will come with it if your vehicle has a switch. You want to take these screws out. Do the same on the other side. Pop that off. The switch did not come with that one. T20 socket. Just grab this panel, slide it down, and out of the way. Now you can access this screw, same T20 socket. Take that screw out. On the side cover, you want to take a trim tool, get underneath there, just pop that out. It's got some push pins holding it in. And using a T20 socket, take this screw out, take that screw out down there. Underneath here, there's three screws. I'm going to take those out, same T20 socket. Now on the side panel here, just pop this out. There's a little pin there, and the glove box should pull out. And you have to slide it towards the right side of the vehicle a little bit. Disconnect these connectors right here. I'll just use a pick. Slide up on the release for that. And this one has two releases, two little locks. Get under both of those. And slide that off and set that aside. Take this screw out right here, use a T25 socket. And over here, same T25. There's a bolt right here. Use a 13 millimeter socket, take that bolt out. plate will come right off. Set that aside. Now I just take the insulation, just move it out of the way. See the blower motors right there. Slide these wires out of that hook and disconnect the connector. Push down on the tabs, slide that out. Underneath we need to remove this trim piece right here. Just use a trim tool. There's a little push pin. Pop that down. And just slide this down out of the way. Underneath, we need to remove this resistor. I'm going to use a six millimeter socket. Take this bolt out. Disconnect the connector right here. Just push down on the tabs. And slide it out. There's another screw right there. Use the six millimeter socket. Take that 
screw out. And it slides down. You can see this slides down. Just pull back on this piece of plastic and it slides right out. I take the new blower motor, slide underneath here. Make sure you can get it lined up in the tracks, just like that. With that in there, you want to take the resistor, slide that up underneath, and take the screws. Get those started. Snug those down and get the other screw started. Snug that down. Now we're going to connect the connector. Lock that down. And you can take this panel, line that up, and take the push pin, line that up. And push back in. Now take the wires, re-secure them in that bracket right there, and then connect the connector. Lock it down. Now take the insulation and slide that down if you have that. And just tuck it in underneath. Make sure you keep these wires out. There, that's good. Take this bracket and line this up. Get the bolt started. And the screws. Tighten the bolt down and tighten down the screws. Take the glove box. We're going to plug the connectors in. Lock it down, and then this connector is going to go right here. Lock that one down. And line the glove box up. in position. I take all the screws, get those all started. The screws underneath. Once those are in, now we can tighten those ones down. Just snug them down. And put 
the side cover on. Lock it down and put the screw in right there. You want to snug that one down. Now take this panel, line this up. Screw right there. Snug it down. Same as right here. Underneath, these two right here. Tighten those down. This one right here. Tighten it down. We can put all these covers on. And the cover with the switch. And the other side. Should just pop in. There we go. That's good. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.